Hey everybody, what's up? Uh, we're here with another Hyrule Warriors video, and this isn't part of my playthrough of the game. This is um, a little bit of what's new in the Twilight Princess pack that was coming out today. And um, <clears throat> first up, we have the Dominion Rod with Zelda. Now, I only got the level 1 badge for the combos because I don't have any. I'm out of materials, so I don't have any uh, materials to upgrade it further. It's cool, but it's kind of slow. Um, not. It might grow on me, but um, I don't know. It takes a little bit of getting used to. It's kind of weird, but uh, it's a shadow power weapon, so it does open up some diversity with Zelda. But it's um, seems like it's mainly like an area of attack <coughs> weapon. But uh, after using her rape here for as long as I have, uh, I think it's just jarring to kind of go with this. But it's neat. I'm going to have to mess around with it more. And once I get the materials I need to upgrade it further, then I may like it more than I... I don't dislike it, but uh, it's just taken some getting used to. <coughs> Excuse me. It's quite different than uh, any weapon of use so far in the game, but um, it shows some promise and it's pretty cool. Generally whenever I unlock something or like a new character or a new weapon, I go to Hyrule Field because that's like my test bed, just because it's a quick run through. Uh, there's some what I call elites. You know, with the aerial foes and lizard foes and stuff like. Well, there's no aerial foes, but there's lizard, lizard foes. And then uh, you get the King Dodongo fight. I think once I level, get a higher grade version of the weapon, does a little bit more damage. I may get, may take it to the Gerudo Desert because then there you got Manhanla, the Dodongo King, and uh, Goma. Plus you have quite a variety of enemies there. And shadow, shadow weapon is the recommended weapon for that that map. So I think that'll be my next test bet. It actually probably doesn't have to be really high of a weapon, or you don't have to have really high damage because you figure when you go through there with Ganondorf, you're pretty low level. But uh, we'll do this fight with Volga real quick because it shows the what happens when you break their weak point gauge. It's kind of cool, but then we're going to go to the part of the, the DLC pack that I'm most excited for. So, I mean, it looks cool, you know, but it's, uh, like I said, it's just going to take some getting used to. Now, here's what I'm excited about. We have Twilight Midna. Or Twilight Form Midna, I think they're calling her. Now, I do have her... I think I have the combos for her Mirror Twilight maxed out in this video. Or in this footage. I tried it with without any upgrades. She was at level 1 or whatever. And uh, it's pretty boring. So she's only level four here, but she does have uh, the combos maxed out to open up her possibilities as to what she can do. Uh, it, with no upgrades into the badges for the Mirror of Twilight, she only has her basic run of the mill thing that she does. And then uh, her strong attack ending to the combo is either having the mirror come out and shooting that blast like it did a second ago, or she summons like this the, the cannon from the infamous cannon room that you could get locked in. Hard lock your game, and not be able to continue if you accidentally saved while you're in there in Twilight Princess. That one there. 
I thought it was pretty cool she summons the bridge. She's definitely, everything she does is just a huge area of attack. And what's tricky with her, I found out when I had to fight that. Well, I mean, it's pretty obvious even here when you're fighting trash mobs. But it became very apparent when uh, I didn't get to manhandle up quick enough and him and Goma kind of teamed up on me. Just about every one of her combos leaves her wide open to be punished. Now that's awesome, but uh, I, I think probably the worst one is this one here, because the camera zooms out so far, but if you connect with everything, it seems like she's pretty uh, just devastating, uh, kind of much in the same vein as Ganondorf, but you just gotta watch out, because if you get the right enemy near you, you're gonna have a bad day. Show up some boss footage here. This might not have been the best fight to jump right into with uh, having Manhandla and Goma present, but uh, yeah. fuck it, you only live one. This last hit didn't want to cooperate right away. That was unexpected because I'd never had him do that before. So I was hoping to dispatch him pretty quick here once his core exposed so I could be done with him and then focus my attentions on Goma. I forgot to showcase what happens when you use her magic gauge. Uh, she ends that with, she summons this, like, ball of you know, twilight, I guess, and just explodes everything. <laughs> oh, well, I guess I did use it here. That's the basics of it, the Dominion Rod and a little bit of Midna. Twilight Full Midna. Uh, you get an Adventure Mode map, and you get the Postman outfit for Link. I don't know why Hero's Shade would have been a lot cooler. And you get an Ilya costume for Zelda. But that'll showcase more of that in another video. This is just a quick, like, taste of what came in the pack. This, like I said, the meat and potatoes of it. And then uh, after the holidays, we'll get back into finishing up the playthrough of the main campaign. But uh, like always, guys, I want to thank you for watching and stopping by. I hope you guys have a th good Thanksgiving, and we'll see you all later. Have a good one. That's a badass outro. <laughs>